Archbishop Fulton Sheen once said, There was never a preacher like the dying Christ. There was never a congregation like that which gathered about the pulpit of the cross. There was never a sermon like the seven last words. There was a vessel filled with common wine. So they put a sponge in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, it is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. of something being done, being finished in our lives, we look at certain chapters in our lives. We think about the times when we graduated from high school or the times when we fulfilled the DMV test and got our driver's license. It is finished. It's a common theme that weaves all throughout our lives. But there, when I think about that particular quote, statement of Jesus, I think about someone who I knew at Mount Angel Seminary, Charles Leonard. Charles Leonard came to Mount Angel Seminary and joined my Friday Schola, which I was conducting that particular year. He was a man filled with much zeal and a passion for Jesus Christ, and he brought a lot of enthusiasm every time he sang in the Friday choir. But there was something about Charles that not many of us knew. Charles was one who struggled with cancer. On one unexpected, e unexpected evening, Charles preached at Vespers to give thanks to God that amidst his struggle, he was filled with joy to be with us at Mount Angel to pursue a vo possible vocation to the priesthood. One afternoon before taking a test, it was recalled that he wrote on his exam, it's all about the Paschal mystery. Shortly after that, Charles died in the company of his seminary brothers. Charles was one who gave witness to what it means to say it is finished. When we look at it is finished in the Gospel of John and in the Greek, there is something that we find more in depth there. Tetelestai. It is perfected. It is accomplished. Jesus did something more than just accomplish a DMV test or graduate from college or graduate from seminary. Jesus did what Charles was trying to do. Gaze at the Father. Gaze at the Father and gaze upon the Father's will. And by obediently handing over our lives to the Father, we perfect the Father's will in our lives. We perfect and we accomplish what the Father has laid out for all of us. But wait, it's more than just that. It's more than just saying it is finished. Christ's work is finished. But how about us? Our, Christ has laid the foundation, but are we building upon it? When we think about our own lives and our own mission, we say, is it finished? When our neighbor is still lonely and our neighbor hasn't heard the good news. Is God's will perfected and finished in us when we fail to feed the hungry, when we fail to comfort those who are sorrowing over the death of a loved one? Is it finished in our lives? So as we approach the great mysteries that have saved us and that have redeemed us, dare we look to Christ who gazed upon the Father his whole life so that we can imitate him. It is finished. It is accomplished. That we can live out lives that are pleasing to the Father, to where we can feed the hungry, feed the lonely, comfort the sorrowing. It's always struck me what Father Radcliffe has said ever since I read his book, The Seven Last Words. It's kind of stuck with me. In six days, God created all that is, and on the seventh day, he rested. 
And when we look to Christ crucified, Christ himself has seven statements. And at his seventh statement, he rested. The frail, meek Lamb of God rested from the work he had done to recreate all that is, to draw us back to himself. This new work accomplished in Christ is now perfected as he states, it is finished. So now, a world that is far from the cross, we draw near us who follow Christ in these sacred days, and we hear him say, it is finished. So as we come now closer to Good Friday, may his words, it is finished, along with all his other statements, the greatest homily as Fulton Sheen states, may these words transform us so that at the end of our lives, the Father can gaze on us, his servants, and say, well done, good and faithful servant. It's the tragedy and the triumph that is Good Friday. It is finished.